Business Central and WooCommerce. It's a common scenario that we hear about here at E1. I need to bring my customers, my orders, my refunds out of my shopping cart and into my ERP system. So in this demo, we're going to show how this can be done using Smart Connect. So here is my sample WooCommerce store, and I'm going to place an order as a new customer, and then we'll watch how that flows through into Business Central so that we can use that as a reference point. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to order a couple of items here. So I'll get some of these albums, and we'll go to my cart. Um, I want to add some different quantities to these. I want multiple items. Update my cart. Perfect. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to check out. Uh, I have the option to be a returning customer or to apply a coupon, but I'm not going to do either of those. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new customer. So I'm going to call myself Woo and Commerce. And we'll say Woo Commerce Test is the name of my company. I enter in additional um, address information. And we'll say I'm from Moorhead, Minnesota. And enter the zip code. And a phone. All right, so we'll say here is my contact information. I want it to create an account. Um, not going to do anything else. Cash will be paid upon delivery, and I'll place my order. So now I've created an order, order number 258. So if I log into my WooCommerce backend and we go to orders, there should now be an order 258 for WooCommerce. And the status has been set to processing by default. So I'm going to make a couple of quick changes here. I'm going to tell it that the shipping address is just going to be the same as my billing address. And I'm going to set this as completed. So it is a common practice to not have ongoing integrations bringing in all orders at all states of processing. Usually you would pick some sort of state that you feel is adequate to bring it in, just so you're not bringing in incomplete transactions. So in my scenario, I told it to only import transactions that have been completed. So now if we go over to my Smart Connect map, and so I'm going to run an integration that's going to import my customers to Business Central. Once those are imported, it's going to bring in all of my orders on the back end of that. All right, so those orders have been imported as a Business Central invoice, but that's a customizable feature of Smart Connect that you can decide where you want it, which fields you want to bring in, and all of the detail associated with that. So now if I go to Sales Invoices, we have a new one here, WooCommerce 258 for WooCommerce Test. So let's just click on this invoice and take a quick look at it. So the transaction date was just set to today's date, but I can make that dynamic. It brought in my address information and then my two line items that I had had associated with it. So on reviewing this, everything looks right. It looks good to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post it. All right, so now my invoice is posted. So let's jump back into my WooCommerce and say, this was all nice and dandy, but we need to issue a refund because they accidentally ordered too many of these and they already paid me. So I need to make sure that this is handled correctly. So we're gonna issue this refund. Okay, refund has been processed and is complete. Now if I go into another integration that I have set up, Woo refunds as Business Central credit memos. So I will run this now. It found my one refund and has issued it. So now if we go back and we look at sales credit memos, WooCommerce test now has a refund, which has been imported as a credit memo. We can see it's linked it to the existing invoice because it's already been posted through Business Central and then the amount that was refunded. So this is just a very common scenario of what an integration could be, but there's so much more that you could do with it if you wanted to. You could set up integrations to update your inventory within 
WooCommerce based on your ERP system, or you can have inventory flowing equally through both. Um, other options are making sure that your customers are being updated with addresses, handling taxes, handling inventory, handling shipping information, all of that you can do with Smart Connect through this integration tool. So if you have any questions, reach out to our team and we can help you get started or download templates and get started today.